hey, can I show you that abortion is a wicked sin in the eyes of God? So I got some notes written down, some points written down. First of all, some might argue, well, the Bible doesn't address killing babies and that kind of stuff. Well, actually it does. It does actually address murdering babies in the womb. Exodus chapter 21, verse 22. If men strive and hurt a woman with child, so that her fruit depart from her, and yet no mischief follow, he shall surely be punished according to the woman's husband, or according as the woman's husband will lay upon him, and he shall pay as the judges determine. So you see this thing here, if two men are fighting, striving with each other, and they end up hurting a pregnant woman, a woman with child, and their fruit basically departs from her, the baby basically ends up in a miscarriage, uh, there is a punishment there. The people, the men who do, do it get punished. So it does actually address the thing of murdering a baby inside the womb. So, a bad argument, uh, saying that the Bible never addresses that, because it does. And abortion is no different. You have men who are doctors who are killing a baby inside the womb. No different than what's going on here in Exodus chapter 21, verse 22. If two men are striving, then basically they hurt a pregnant woman and the baby departs from her in a miscarriage. There's a punishment there, severe punishment. So it does actually address baby killing. Uh, next point. God hates abortion providers. God hates hands that shed innocent blood. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 16 and 19. Lists things that God hates, and abortion is one of them. Proverbs 6. These six things doth the Lord hate, yea, seven are an abomination unto, abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. And heart that defies with wicked imaginations, feet that be swift in running to mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren. So we see there that abortion is something that God hates. God hates the hands that shed innocent blood. That's abortion. The babies are innocent, and you're shedding their blood through abortion. And by the way, it is shedding blood, because you look at pictures of these aborted babies. They're mutilated. They're just bloody all over. It's horrific what, what goes on there. God hates it. Uh, next point, abortion is closely linked to paganism in the Bible. When the nation of Israel became more pagan, and when paganism became widespread, so did abortion. Psalms chapter 106, sorry, not chapter, Psalms 106, 37 to 38. It's a chapter, but it's not a chapter, it's just Psalms 106. Because there are no chapters in Psalms. Yea, they sacrificed their sons and their daughters unto devils, and shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and of their daughters, whom they sacrificed unto the idols of Canaan, and the land was polluted with blood. So we see when they became pagan, they were sacrificing their daughters to devils, which is what the idols, idols are, they're devils. And they also were shedding innocent blood, which is a form of abortion, basically. I said that earlier, but the blood of their sons and their daughters. So child sacrifice and abortion, both linked with paganism. So when a nation becomes pagan, so does abortion, it becomes widespread. Same thing with sodomy and homosexuality and a bunch of other perverted stuff. Last point, Manasseh, King Manasseh shedding innocent blood caused God's wrath to come upon the nation of Israel. 2 Kings 21, 16. Moreover, Manasseh shed innocent blood very much till he had filled Jerusalem from one end to, the, to another, beside his sin, wherewith he made Judah to sin, in doing that which was evil in the sight of the Lord. And then 2 Kings 24, verses 3 to 4. Surely at the commandment of the Lord came this upon Judah to remove them out of his sight for the sins of Manasseh, according to all that he did and also for the innocent blood that he shed, for he filled Jerusalem with innocent blood, which the Lord would not pardon. So we see when he began shedding innocent blood, God's not gonna pardon it, because God hates hands that shed innocent blood. So abortion is one of the sins that will cause God's wrath to come upon a nation, along with homosexuality, along with other stuff too. But abortion is one of the main sins that will cause God's wrath upon a nation. You know, God loves the little children of the world. That's why Satan goes after the children through abortion and through uh, the ones that are born, he goes after them through indoctrination, like Drag Queen Story Hour, and all kinds of other stuff, sodomite, um, indoctrination in schools, feminism, all this other stuff. 
because he wants to go after the children. And abortion is how he gets rid of the children. And then the children that are still alive, obviously he tries to indoctrinate them. But abortion brings God's wrath upon a nation. And it will take God's blessing away from a nation. And it will cause God to not forgive that nation for shedding innocent blood. Abortion is a wicked sin in the eyes of God. It is addressed in the Bible, the thing of murdering a baby inside the womb. God hates it. Proverbs 6, 16 and 19. It's linked to paganism and it will cause God's wrath to come and it will cause God to not forgive a nation for that. So don't, if you're a Christian, stay away from abortion. It's funny, I see these polls of supposed professing Christians getting abortions. It's wrong, it's wicked. Abortion is, is a sin that causes God's wrath to come upon a nation. So don't be deceived by all this pro-feminism, pro-abortion garbage. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.